hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel so if you are new welcome my name is Tarira and I like to do DIYs particularly African pinch DIYs so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made this neck cuff this was inspired by a video that was done by Mark Mark Montano I think I'm going to leave the link to his video in the description box. That is where I got the inspiration to do something like this. He did it on like a bracelet, but I decided to do it on like a neck cuff kind of thing. It's um it's actually quite comfortable and it's very light, but I don't think that it's for everyday wear. But it looks good. It may be good for like a photo shoot or just for art, like just for the fun of it so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next video bye these are all the materials that i use for this diy and i'm going to list all of them in the description box below so the first thing that i did was to take out my straws and i did measure my neck and it was 12 inches so i wanted to make a row of straws that was about 12 inches long So originally in this video, you see that I was making them three inches long each, but then I realized later that that was too long. It was not going to fit on my neck at all. So I changed it later and made each piece of straw two inches long. And if you want it shorter than that, you can definitely make it shorter than that. But if you want it for a bracelet, it's fine. It can be as long as you wish. So I just kept on doing that until I had a row that was 12 inches long. Then I just started cutting pieces of fabric that were the same length as the pieces of straw. And then I started covering the straws with that fabric and make sure that it's covered all around. And that is the result I covered all of them and then I now took my African print fabric and then I measured about one inch then I cut strips of one inch then I started gluing that's one inch fabric onto one side of the little straw. And that is all the little straws covered in the African print fabric and then I took out my ribbon I don't remember exactly how long that ribbon was but I think it was over a meter long and then I put two safety pins on each ribbon
so now I started um I don't really know how to explain this to you guys like my narration skills are not up to that standard but I was basically trying to put the safety pin through each straw on the other hand and the other one in the opposite direction and then just pulling it tight I hope you can just follow and see exactly what I was doing there So in the end you have something that looks like this and all the little straws will be together and please notice how I was trying to alternate so that the side with the print goes on the other side and then the side that is the block color is on the other side I was just trying to mix it up like that I hope you understand what I'm saying And then I just turned them to make sure that the side with the glue the, and the rough edges were all facing one side.
yet subscribe to my channel guys please subscribe subscribe